The Berenstain Bears and the Week at Grandma's by Stan and Jan Berenstain, narrated by me. When Mama and Papa Bears go away, cubs visit their grandparents for their first long stay. Once in a while, the Bear family, who lived in the big tree house, down a sunny dirt road deep in Bear Country, got out the family snapshots and looked at them. What are these? asked Sister Bear, picking up a book of photos. I don't think I've seen these before. There were pictures of bears playing tennis, canoeing, dancing, and having all sorts of fun. The bears looked like Mama and Papa, only they were younger and thinner. There are pictures of Papa and me on our honeymoon, said Mama with a smile. At Grizzly Mountain Lodge said Papa. We had a wonderful time. What's a honeymoon? asked Brother. A honeymoon is a special trip couples take when they get married, explained Mama. Getting married is a very special happening, and celebrating it with a trip is an old custom. As a matter of fact, said Papa, we've decided to go on a second honeymoon. We're going back to the same place and play tennis, go canoeing, and have fun. It'll be lovely, said Mama. A second honeymoon sounds like a pretty good idea to me, said Brother. Me too, said Sister. They scooted out of the room and were back in a jiffy with their vacation things. Oh, you won't be coming, said Papa. Honeymoons, even second honeymoons, are just for grown-ups, not for cubs. But, but what's going to happen to us? asked Sister. It just so happens, said Mama, that Gran has been after me to let you spend a week with her and Gramps. This will be the perfect opportunity. A whole week? said Brother. But we've never stayed with anybody that long, said Sister. Well, said Papa, taking a few practice swings with his tennis racket, there's got to be a first time for everything. What will we do for a whole week? asked the cubs. Where will we sleep? What will we eat? Goodness, said Mama. Such a fuss about a simple thing like spending a week at Grandma's. It didn't seem like a simple thing to the cubs. They loved Gramps and Gran very much, but, well, they just weren't Mama and Papa. Besides, Gramps and Gran were sort of... old. What are you taking with you? Sister asked Brother when it was time to pack. I'm taking my books, my jacks, my teddy, of course. These, he said, holding up some books in his best yo-yo. Papa put their suitcases in the car trunk last, so that when they got to Grand's, unloading was as easy as one, two, three. Then after lots of big bear hugs and kisses, the happy second honeymooners were on their way. It certainly is fun to see young folks having fun, said Gran, as she waved goodbye. We're the young folks, muttered the cubs. We're the ones who are supposed to have fun. I'm sure you're hungry after your ride, said Gran when they went in. How about some of my special honey nut cookies and milk? No thanks, Gran, said Sister. I'm not hungry right now. Hey, these are really good, said Brother. Sister sneaked a taste. They were good, but, well, they just weren't Mama's. Now let's get you up to your room so you can get settled, said Gramps. The cubs reached for their bags, but before you could say Grizzly Gramps, they were gathered up, bags and all, and carried up the steep steps. Gramps certainly was strong for someone so... old. The room at the top of the stairs was very nice. Very nice indeed. But... 
Well, it just wasn't home. Gramps, said Sister, where do you suppose Mama and Papa are right now? Well, said Gramps, I reckon they're still on the road, just pulling into sight of Grizzly Mountain Lodge. After they unpacked their things, Gramps thought the cubs might like to explore around the house. While it wasn't home, it was an interesting house. There was the attic crowded with all sorts of interesting things. Grand's kitchen with its yummy tastes and smells. And Gramps' den. Gramps knew how to build a ship in a bottle. When the cubs asked him how it was done, he just smiled. What do you suppose Mama and Papa are doing now? They asked then. I reckon they've gotten into their tennis clothes and are swatting the ball back and forth, he said. Over the next few days, brother and sister found lots to do. They helped Grand feed her bird friends, more kinds than they had ever seen in one place, and Grand knew all their names. They helped Gramps cut and smooth twigs for a new ship in a bottle. It turned out that he built them outside the bottle and then slid them in. It was pretty tricky. They went fishing in a special place Gramps knew about. Well, said Gramps as they returned with a fine catch, I reckon that your mama and papa are out canoeing right now. I certainly hope they're having fun, said sister, because we sure are. Hmm, better get these chairs in, said Gramps after a fine fish fry. It's going to rain tomorrow. How do you know? asked Brother. I can feel it in my bones, answered Gramps. It turned out Gramps was right. Good, said Brother. We'll be able to relax a little. Sister got out her jacks and he started to play with his yo-yo. I used to be pretty good with one of those myself, said Gramps. Was he ever. Not only could Gramps make the yo-yo sleep and walk the dog, he could even do baby in the cradle and around the world. That evening, after a refreshing nap, they all went to Gramps and Gran's regular Friday night square dance. Gramps and Gran didn't just watch. They do -si doed with the best of them. They even won a prize for the friskiest couple. Goodness, said Sister in the morning. This week really flew by, and we learned so much, added Brother, practicing Baby in the Cradle. Gramps and Gran, how come you know so much? asked Sister. So many things. Why, you can even feel the weather in your bones. That's one of the good things about being an older person, said Gramps, smiling. You learn something every day, so that by the time you're old enough to be a grandparent, you know quite a lot. Gee, said Sister, I guess you and Gran are so old you must know everything. Oh, no, said Gramps, laughing. <laughs> you never stop learning. Well, just this week we learned something very special. We learned how absolutely wonderful it is to be grandparents and have lovely grand cubs. Then Gramps and Gran swept their grand cubs up in a big hug. The next thing they knew, a familiar beep beep was heard. It was Papa tooting the horn. He and Mama were back from their second honeymoon, and it was time for the cubs to go home. After saying goodbyes and thank yous, the Bear family piled into the car and headed home. No sooner were they on their way than brother and sister were bubbling over with the fun and excitement of their week at Grandma's. Well, said Papa, sounds like you had a pretty good time. Oh, we did, said sister. Papa, sometimes you might want to go on a third honeymoon. Then we could spend another week at Grandma's. A third honeymoon, said Papa. I don't think anyone's ever gone on a third honeymoon. Well, said Sister, there has to be a first time for everything. 